Okay, so I'm Shay Ornett, and you can find probably more than you'll want to know about me at the URL down there. And this is just following up for Giles on Archaeopteryx and how to get started with it without spending a whole lot of money. Um, Archaeopteryx is a music library, so you, you need a way to make noise. So if you're going to hack on it and you don't have noise, it's going to be kind of similar to this. So if you're doing that, you're doing it wrong. So it's a music library, and it was really built for prosumer music applications. And those applications cost a lot of money. But you don't have to use the prosumer applications if you just want to hack around with it. So what you're going to need is a program called MIDI Patch Bay, and this is for OSX, um, the Archaeopteryx source, of course, and then GarageBand. And if you reinstalled Leopard or Tiger and removed it to save space, you can kick yourself now because you're going to have to go back and reinstall it. And go ahead and get all of the extra loops because they are handy. And it's really easy to set up. When you start MIDI Patch Bay, you just get a blank window. And you click the Add Patch. And then you have to set up some virtual inputs. So you can just do a new input, or I already had one in there. So, And then you set up an output also. And this is just so that Archaeopteryx can actually talk to GarageBand. Otherwise, it just doesn't see it. And Shane, there's also a file in the Archex, uh, included with Archex. Is it in there now? OK. Uh, okay, so yeah, here's a, a default. If you want to just open that up into the Archaeopteryx source. So when you get a garage band, it's going to default in more than likely with this grand piano, or it'll be blank, or it'll have a bunch of goofy tracks. So you can get rid of all of the rest of them if you need to. And just add a new track and you want to use a software instrument. And because GarageBand can't play multiple instruments at once using Archaeopteryx, pretty much everything except drums sounds horrible. So just make sure you use a drum kit and it doesn't really matter which one. And then when, uh, when you get that set up, you can run some of the files. The Eval style .rb usually works. I guess I could have plugged speakers up. Just this one. So it works, and then the ambient RB works, but it's not really suited for drums, so it sounds horrible too. It sounds good if you put the rest in. Well, yeah, that's true. But you got to do a lot of playing around, and it can't handle the extra instruments, so it, it gets a little rough. But So if you want to use Archaeopteryx on Linux or Windows, the first thing you need to do, it's, it's almost as easy, but just go to apple.com slash retail, and then right over there you can find an Apple store that's close to you, so you can go and get a Mac. And... <laughs> If you don't want to buy a Mac, Archaeopteryx also needs a homepage, uh, some wikis, and forums. So maybe you could help out on those. But so really, the like Giles said, the code for Arche Archaeopteryx, the MIDI code, came from this Practical Ruby projects, and there is platform-specific code in there for Windows and Linux. So if you're on one of those platforms and you want to play around with it pick up the book and implement your platform and submit a patch back to Giles on GitHub. And that's it.